how's it going everybody, Ben from Base at Me everyone. In this video I'm opening not just one Stellar Crown ETB, I also have a second one. Unfortunately though, I do have to apologize in advance. First of all, the video is a little bit later than usual. Mainly because my booster box that I usually open for these newer sets, you know, whenever they're on special sets, didn't arrive in time, which is also the reason why I am opening two elite trainer boxes and why I'm also opening German, as you can see right here, German elite trainer boxes of this set. This has been the first time, like in forever, that the booster box didn't arrive in time. Um, I bought it from the same seller I usually buy my stuff from and usually they're also very, or they're always very, very timely, but not for this one though. And, well, the basic stuff for this one. The ETB is cool, though, because we get this cool Knocked Owl promo, like right there. And we also get our nine booster packs, I do believe. Is there one missing? There is one missing. There you go. There is another Stellar Crown booster pack, and you get the normal stuff with these ETB, some damage counters, actually a dice in there, or a die in there as well. Your energy pack, or pack of energy cards. And then we also get some sleeves. I actually do want to see these sleeves. They look pretty cool. I feel like they're still the same cheap material as is usual with these. Um, I don't see the card dividers. And also this seems to be like handled very roughly. I don't think that was me. Maybe this has been opened or maybe there just aren't any um, dividers there anymore. Um, we'll see. Hopefully this hasn't been tampered with. Oh, no, never mind. The dividers are inside. Oh, yeah, right. I've seen that on, um, on Twitter. People didn't really like that idea of putting the dividers in the promo card because people like keeping them sealed. Uh, me included. There you go. Focus on the Knocked Owl. And, well, there we go. That was basically the first Elite Trainer box. Let me just open this second one. All right, and here we are. We do have 18 booster packs here on each side. Let me just open up the promos so I can show off the code card for you. Here is the cool looking promo. Let's look at this one up close first of all. Knocked Owl, or as it's known in German, Noctu. And then we also have the first code card right there. There we go. Focus is a little bit weird with this one. Like the phone doesn't really like the... doesn't really like to focus on that one in particular. I guess maybe this is the same. All right, and here we are with the main event. I have to cover Cynthia's face, I suppose. Otherwise, the autofocus will just go completely crazy. Um, let's see what we can find in this. I would have loved to open a booster. I'm probably still gonna open a booster box later down the line, but I always like opening a booster box because even though the pulls aren't promised, like, you can still somewhat expect something like three um, illustration rares as per usual. Celebi, that's a nice one. I haven't seen that illustration before, I don't think. So, and with these Elite Trainer Boxes, I've always had horrible, horrible luck with these Elite Trainer Boxes. Hopefully this isn't the same. Hopefully it isn't a repeat of something that is kind of the norm right now with me and opening Elite Trainer Boxes. Never had anything good from any of them. And I've opened a bunch of them over the years. Actually, maybe that's not completely true. I did open a whole bunch of Celebrations Elite Trainer Boxes, you know, as most people did. And I did have somewhat um, good luck in those. I think the best pulls from Celebrations, though, did actually come from the Ultra Premium Collection of all, of all products. I actually pulled the Umbreon and the Charizard in, in the same um, Ultra Premium Collection. I only managed to open one because it was very pricey at the time, and I can imagine it is still very, very pricey right now. All right, let's talk a little bit about Stellar Crown. This set, I mean, I've opened the, um, the whatchamacallit, the, cr not Crown Zenith. Um, what is it called in Japanese? I've forgotten the name already. Um, Crown Miracle, I think it was called. I might have to look that one up. Or Stellar Miracle, there we go. Stellar Miracle, the Japanese set of this one. Pulled the Lacey out of that set, and hopefully I can do that too, although with these Elite Trainer Boxes, I'm just hoping for any pull full stop, because usually with these Elite Trainer Boxes, I end up going empty-handed, almost. I mean, other than the promos that are included. So you're not going completely empty-handed, but getting zero pulls from nine booster packs, that would be kind of disheartening. Although, we shall see, we still have so many packs left to go that we can open. 
and we mustn't be deterred by anything. Let's see if we can get our first pull in this booster pack. Nope, just a Zera Aura. Really, really cool looking illustration by Anisaki Dynamics. One of my favorite artists. But other than that, so far, nothing. I've seen the pull rates, but the pull rates have been posted on on social media, and I still haven't I haven't compared them to um, Twilight Masquerade yet. I, I have to do that, but I have a feeling that they're slowly but surely reducing the the pull rates out of these big hits like the the special illustration rares and so on and so forth. I think they're slowly reducing them. Because now we've like established the the Scarlet and Violet era. Still no pull, man. This is this is just how the elite trainer boxes go usually. I think they're gonna reduce them. I don't think they're gonna reduce them as much as compared to the uh, what you call it, Sword and Shield era. That was something else. Like an alternate art was really freaking rare. Like just think of the I guess the Moonbrion. That's like the most notable. Um, what should we call it? alternate art from the Sword and Shield era? I think that is like a one in two thousand or something crazy like that to pull that one specifically. Ridiculous, ridiculous stuff. Wow, just another holographic. It's really slow, but I do have a feeling that we're gonna pick up the pace in a while here. Hopefully, going like that many packs without a single hit. I, this is why I usually don't like to open elite trainer boxes. It's like a love hate relationship. Um. I was kind of forced into it, if you will. I would have liked to open my booster box today, but unfortunately it didn't arrive in time, so I had to do... I had to think of something else. That's a nice looking Coridon by Kavayo. That is really, really cool looking. I like that one. Really like that one. Let's see. Here is... Yo, okay. A Hydrapple. Not too shabby. Or no, that's like the... Um, the evolution of Apollin, which I've completely forgotten to name it. Or the name of. <laughs> really sorry about that. The special illustration rare for the Hydrapple, though, that one looks really, really cool. I mean, if you've opened or if you've seen um, Stellar Miracle, the Japanese equivalent to this set, you already know most of the cards that are in here. And most of them are pretty, pretty cool. I have to, I have to um, watch out to not like uh, switch them up with um, Paradise Dragona. Which I'm also going to be opening next week. This is going to be awesome. No, but Lacey C. Crispin is in here. Of course, the Terrapagos is in here. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that one right. Um, Jirachi is also in here. That's a cool looking one. Very, very nice. We have a Raging Bolt. I kind of have to think of these, um, of the English names. I'm not used to the German names. Like, some of them I recognize, of course, because they're older Pokémon, but with these newer ones, if I see the German name, I might not think of the English name immediately. <laughs> it's super difficult for me. Um, we'll see. This is the first Elite Trainer box, by the way, and all we've gotten so far is a double rare. And we'll see if, if this one has something else. One Elite Trainer box with one double rare. Um, okay. Okay. It's kind of odd. That's kind of okay. The lily. I've pulled this in. I want to say Chinese. I'm not sure. I might be switching it up. I might be switching it up with um, with the Japanese opening that I did. But I've pulled that card before, so this is an illustration rare I actually have in my collection. Still pretty cool. I mean, we have two pulls in this one, so not kind of empty-handed but still somewhat disappointing from one elite trainer box but then i always want to argue you're not buying the elite trainer box just purely for the packs i mean there's way more cost efficient ways to do that if you just want packs and uh, you kind of buy them for the a little bit extras if you really want to get into the game or something or maybe you're just buying the the elite trainer boxes for collection purposes i know a lot of people do they just buy one elite trainer box and just keep it sealed which is kind of really cool. I actually like that idea. Um, so much more so than keeping booster boxes here, because for some reason, the booster box design for the English um, for the English releases so far. Yo, okay, here we go. First pack out of the second elite trainer box. A full art, a full art with the earthworm. I want to say at once again, German name. German name is Schlurm. But I've no idea what. That, don't pronounce that. You get in trouble. I'll just leave it at that. I'll just leave it at that. 
Some of the German names are, are <laughs> they're really hilarious, some of them. Some of them are really hilarious, you'd be surprised. Look up, look up Licky Tongue, and look up the German name. You'll, you'll be, you'll be surprised. All right. Hopefully we can get something else, but we shall see. At least we have one full art. Here we have the Lacey. See, I had no idea her German name was Tara. No clue. I had no idea. Yo, the Zara Aura. Look who's back. Look who's back. Nice. I pulled this one in Japanese and I was really, really happy about this. This one is really cool. Hopefully, in terms of illustration rares, there are a lot of great ones in here as well in this set. Kind of surprisingly. Um, there's like the Bulbasaur, the Ch not the Charmander, the Bulbasaur and the Squirtle. And then there's also the Raboot, which is the one that I really want to get. Because I haven't pulled the Raboot in Japanese. So I really want to get it at least in, well, English or German. I just want to have it because it's super cool. I really like the reboot. Um, let's see, so far this um, Elite Trader box seems to be way better than the other one we've just opened. We'll see if we do get something else in here. Not in this pack? Nope, not in this pack. Just a Zera Aura at the end there. Here's the code card for that one. All right. We still have so many packs left, so yeah, if if my booster box arrives at some point, I'll probably open it up anyways. Um, unless I get a special illustration around this one, then I probably I might return it. Um, we'll see. We shall see, but yeah. Um, once it does arrive, I'll just upload the video whenever. I'm just gonna stick to my upload schedule. Because the video released on Saturday will be the... Or next Saturday, I should say, will be the Paradise Dragon opening. Another Schlurm. Okay. Um, looks like this is the Schlurm box. I mean, could be worse. It could be no pulls. So pulling at least something. That is that is really, really cool. We still have so many packs left. Did I, did I mix them up or something? Maybe I've mixed up the packs because I do not believe that we only got two pulls from that first Elite Trainer box. That would be ridiculous, right? Let's see. Let's see what we can find in here. Any full art trainer would also be pretty cool. I mean, Crispin, Lacey, the normal Lacey would be cool. Crispin would also be pretty cool. Um, who else is in here? Completely forgotten who else is in here. Maybe we'll just pull them and then we'll know. But yeah, personally for the special illustrations, I haven't talked about the special illustration rares that I'm really hoping for. Um, personally, I don't think I really want any of them other than the Terrapagos. Because that's, I mean, that's like kind of the coolest one in the set, right? And of course you'd want that one. Otherwise, maybe the Lacey, although I have her in Japanese, so... That's like very low down my want list in terms of special illustration rares that I'd like to pull. But then again, pulling any special illustration rare would be pretty good. Yo, we have another double rare or like another full art. We've pulled the Schlurm and we've pulled the Vultula or the Gavantula EX. There we go. Look at that one. And also with that rainbow border. Nice. Funny thing is, I pulled the exact same card in my Japanese Stellar Miracle opening. So, technically, I've pulled this one before as well. Still, though, now I really can't complain with the opening. Two full arts in one opening? That's pretty good. I mean, four elite trainer boxes, and as I've alluded to earlier, my luck is horrible with elite trainer boxes. It really, really is. So, I'm really happy about that one. I really can't think of anything else. I really can't ask of, of anything else. Maybe just one more illustration rare. That would be pretty cool, but then again, really can't ask of anything else. This is already pretty good. This is already pretty good. Let's see. Nope, just a normal holographic. Nice voice crack there. Hopefully you didn't hear that one. But we'll see. We'll see. Two more packs left. Let's see what we can find in these last two right here. Open this one up. And let's see. Corge bug. Got a Hoot Hoot. Graveart. Here's the Crispin who's called Matt. Why is he... What? That makes no sense. Why would they translate the name Crispin to Matt? That doesn't even sound... It doesn't even translate to that. 
That, that is a horrible name change. That's a horrible name change. What are you doing, German Pokemon? What are you doing? What are you doing? There we go. I think I seem to be having issues with the autofocus with this one. I don't know why. Maybe I have to change something. Maybe I have to change something. We'll see. Um, last pack right here. Because whenever I hold up the code card, it just loses focus for whatever reason. For whatever reason, it loses focus whenever I I take the code card in, in front of the camera. It's really odd. I've noticed that a bunch of times now. That it just randomly loses loses focus whenever I'm recording something. It's really odd. Might have to return this one. Um, let's see. One last pull. Nope, just a holographic Ledian. Really cool and really cute looking Ledian. But just a holographic Ledian nonetheless. All right. Welp. I guess that was the opening of my two elite trainer boxes. German elite trainer boxes. No, I was kind of forced into it. Really happy about this pull. The Zara Aura, even though I already have it. This is an awesome looking card. I have to show this to you again. Look at this one. That looks really cool. Man, that is such a nice illustration. Kind of said that I didn't hit the reboot, but then again, I pulled two. Two full arts. I know they aren't the best full arts. I know. They're not very popular Pokemon, but still pulling two full arts from like one elite trainer box because I'm pretty sure I didn't switch up the packs. That is ridiculous. That is really, really good for my um, for my quotes. But anyways, I guess that does it for this video. If you enjoyed this one, then please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, then give it a thumbs down. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like so I can try to fix that for future videos. Other than that, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the subscribe button. Click this one first, then click this one. Check out any of the other videos in the description below. And I hope we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace. Take care.